Hi everybody, this is Avril Kefren. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve the performance and the uh, increase the FPS number that you have in the game, The Calling. You have uh, two different options that you can use. First of all, you can use just the setting inside of the game. You click settings, go to video, and here you can change whatever you need to change to gain some FPS. So we will do it one by one. For sure, if you don't have a really good computer or you're playing on the old laptop, you will need to change the resolution and go maybe play a 720p, something like this, this resolution or this, or even less, depending on your computer. But, uh, and you will gain a lot of FPS with this. Render quality is kind of important. You can maybe uh, save two to three FPS for each bracket. So if you go to low, you will maybe save four to five. So, uh, it impacts your game a lot. Effect quality is not that high, so if you change it, you will maybe uh, like gain one to two FPS by bracket. Anti-aliasing post-processing here, you can easy gain two to three FPS by bracket. So uh, if you want to try, just change stuff in this, but you will see uh, your, the graphic inside of the game will look a little bit weird. So maybe you just find the perfect balance for you. Shadow. Shadows, for me, this is not an important thing for the graphic inside of a game. Problem with shadow, you lose a lot of PS because of them. And it's not like, if you don't have shadows inside of your game, it's not that, it's not a big impact on you, in your graphic or in your gameplay. So, um, I will show you how to remove gra uh, the shadows. Because if you go in the setting inside of the game, you can just say, for example, ultra, high, medium, or low. Okay? You can say no. So I will show you after that, uh, how can you change that by yourself. After that, view distance. Uh, that one is really important, like shadow. So uh, by bracket, you will maybe say five to six FPS. So look at this, very important. If you're at I, I'm, it's, <laughs> it's really demanding. I have a really good computer and I right now, I don't make my 60 FPS inside of that game. For sure the game is not well optimized, but anyway, we will see with some patch that's probably coming up. Texture quality is not a big deal. You will maybe save one or two FPS for two brackets. So you can stay at medium or high and it will not change anything. Finally, V-Sync. V-Sync, depending if you have a, I don't know, a 144 Hz screen, you can unlock this uh, to, to have more than 60 FPS. But to have more than 60 FPS, you really need a good computer. So, uh, you will see. A uh, very important thing in that game, when you change your graphic, uh, close your game and restart the game because you will not see your change. So, it says here, requir requires a restart. So, just make sure you restart your game. So the second option is to go to your main uh, drive, click user, click uh, whatever the name is of, of your computer. Uh, after that, you go to app data. Make sure that you can see all your document in your uh, windows, okay? Uh, because normally app data is hidden uh, by default by windows. You click local. After that, you search for Victory. Victory is the name of the folder of the game. You click Save, you click Config, Windows No Editor, and you go to Game User Setting. Here you have a small notepad with uh, all the information of your uh, settings inside of the game. So for an example, two is, uh, is like medium, three is high, one is low. So you can change the number over here to your graphic. So here you see shadow quality. To remove shadow quality, just put zero. Because if you choose low inside of the game, you will see here the number one. So you just delete the number one, put zero, click file and save. With this, uh, with zero shadow quality, honestly, you will save a lot of FPS. And right now, because the game is not well optimized, I really like if you don't, I, I have a pretty good computer. And honestly, shadow is, <laughs> is impacting a lot my graphic card. So it's up to you. If you have any question, uh, don't hesitate. I will reply very quickly in the YouTube uh, comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.